I've lost two daughters to heart conditions, both congenital heart conditions, Sarah at four and a half months and Laura at almost 21. Laura was very caring, very maternal, loved him from the minute he was born, wanted to take over washing and feeding him. She was very outgoing, very confident and had a charisma with everyone wherever we went. One of Laura's legacies is that she's remembered by so many people, young and old. Uh, I have left a gift in my will to the British Heart Foundation because I want to ensure that um, the British Heart Foundation continues to receive enough uh, funds to enable research. It's very important to me that the British Heart Foundation continues to be supported uh, to ensure that hopefully other families don't go through the trauma that we did. So, uh, we lost Jake, my husband, almost two years ago and we felt it was important to raise awareness and he, just, he didn't come home that night and we spent that rest of that day and the night and half of the following day with the help of the police looking for him. And they found him in his car. He died very suddenly of, um, which we've since found out was myocarditis, but we'd had no idea. But he didn't have any symptoms at all. Um, he was very sporty, um, went to the gym every day, lots of running. He was just he was just so gentle to like everyone around him. He was nice, he was kind, and he would respect everyone. There's so many things out there that happen to people that you just don't understand or are unexpected. And I think to raise awareness of those things and perhaps help the research into why those things happen, that's really why we wanted to take part in it. I am here today because my husband Kevin died last August and uh, want to be part of the British Heart Foundation um, to raise awareness of heart disease. We've gone through a, you know, a terrible time and uh, you know, we've seen what you know, we've felt firsthand so you know, anything we can do to try and raise awareness to prevent others from going through what we've gone through, would, uh, you know, that's what we're, we're trying to do from this. You know, I think from a friends and family viewpoint as well, I think the legacy that my dad's left to them is, is exactly that same message. And I know family have you know, already started to you know, think about their own health. The last thing that they got to see was Brooke riding out her bike without her stabilisers. Or nobody ever had a bad word to say about him. He was a very well organised man, well respected by all his colleagues all over the country. When Cordelia was born, she had a life-threatening congenital heart defect called transposition of the great arteries so without open heart surgery she would have died. I just couldn't think, I couldn't talk. It was such a intense moment. The surgery that she actually had um, was only first started in the early 1980s so if it wasn't for the British Heart Foundation and the amount of research that they do um, things could have been a lot different for us. We are extremely lucky that the BHF do the research. Because of that, her surgery was straightforward and we've got her with us today as she is.